I'm Eleanor from Kids Quest Children's Museum, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool craft that will help you learn about multiplication. So all you need to make this craft is a paper plate, a hole puncher or some scissors, and some string, and marker. So all you have to do is punch holes around your plate. I didn't have a hole puncher at home, so I just used some scissors to poke a hole in. But if you do have a hole puncher, the lines will be a little bit cleaner and it'll be easier to get your string through. So I would recommend that if you have one. And then, after you've poked your holes, you're going to choose a number that you want to practice multiplying. So for this plate, I was practicing multiplying the number 10. And you're going to write your multiples of 10 around the circle. And you don't want them to be in order, you want them to be kind of random. So you'll have to think, what comes next when you're looking at your plate? So I have 10, and 10 times 2 is 20, and then 10 times 3 is 30, and then 10 times 4 is 40, and so on, all the way up to 80 around my plate. And I also made a plate for five and for two, so I could get lots of practice in. And then once you've written your numbers, and you have your number that you're multiplying big in the center, you can have a little fun with decorating your plate. So you can see that I drew around the border and around the number. You can draw even more if you want. I think that's a really fun part of this project. And then once you're done decorating your plate, you can start with practicing your math with it. So, all you have to do is line up your string so that it starts at your number. So the five spot for me is all the way up here. And you can see on the back, I have my string starting there and I have it taped down so that it won't come off. So I'm going to undo my plate so that I can practice math with it again. I'm going to unstring it. And that's part of the reason this craft is so fun, because you can use it multiple times. Unstringing. So now I have my string coming from five, and I can now practice my multiples. So five times two. What's five times two? Or five plus five. That's going to be ten, right? So I'm going to find the end of my string and I'm going to poke it through the ten hole. Because five times two is ten. Oops, there we go. And this activity is also going to give you a chance to practice weaving, which is a kind of craft where you take a strand of fabric or string and you go over and under. So we're doing the same thing with the string on our plate. So now we need to do five times three. Five times three, or five plus five plus five. So five times three is going to be 15. So since our string is on the back this time, we're going to take the end and we're going to poke it through to the front. You can look on this side and make sure you're in the right hole. This is 15, so I'm going to poke it through, see if I can get my string to go in. There it is, and you can pull it tight. And when you first make your plate and lay out your string, you can draw on the back the correct lines and how it should look on the back, and that way you can do it even without your parents there, and you'll be able make sure you have the right answer because the back should look the same. And I just circled the end spot where the string will come out. So you can see so far we're right because our string is matching up with this line that I drew with pencil earlier. All right, so we're at 15 now. So now we're up to five times four, or five plus five plus five plus five. But an easier way to think of that is 15 plus five. So it's 15 plus 5. That's going to get us all the way to 20, which is over here. 
So I've got to find the end of my string. I just had this really skinny thread, but if you have some bigger string or even some yarn, that will make this activity a little bit easier to do at home. All right, 25 is our next number because 5 times 5 is 25, and 20 plus 5 is 25, and 25 is down here. So we're going to have to go on the back. Oh, and you can see already that our line is matching up. So we did that math right. And I can poke my string through. Doesn't want to go through this one. See if I can get it. There it is. 25. All right, that was five times five. What about five times six? Or 25 plus five. What's that gonna be? That's gonna be 30. So 30's over here. So I'm gonna poke it through. Out it comes. All right, and then five times seven is next. Or 30 plus five, what's that gonna be? It's going to be 35, which is over here at this hole. So we'll need to come over here. And look at that. Our line is still matching up. So we are doing a good job so far. We only have one more to go. Five times eight. There are eight holes in my plate. So we can only get up to five times eight. But if you poke even more holes in, you can go all the way up to whatever number you want. Most multiplication tables go up to 12. So if you want to practice for school, making 12 holes would probably be smart. So we've only got one option left, but we knew already that 5 times 8 was 40. So we can poke it through, and then we came out the finish. And we have strung our plate up, and we've learned our multiples of 5. So as you can see, you can do this with lots of different numbers. I did with 5 and 10 and 2, but I know there are some trickier numbers to multiply, like 7 or 9. Those are pretty tricky. And if you want an added challenge when you're making your plate, you can add numbers that are tricky because they aren't actually multiples of your number. So for 10 here, I have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Those are all multiples of 10. But if I'd made another hole down here and I'd written 25, that wouldn't be a multiple of 10. So I'd have to skip that hole. So you can be a little tricky when you make these and try and trip yourself up when you're practicing. Because if you have that added challenge, it'll help you think a little bit harder about the math that you're doing. And you can learn more that way. So I hope you get a chance to make one of these plates on your own. Thank you so much for watching.